heat kills and climate change is making them much more deadly. A European heatwave in 2003 has been blamed for the early deaths of 70,000 people. A few things make people more vulnerable to heat waves. The first is being older or having underlying medical conditions. The second is having the sort of job that requires a lot of outdoor or manual labour. The third is being in shoddy buildings that are not heat resistant. And the last is living in cities. Cities have less open space and lots of heat trapping materials like tarmac and glass in them. Assuming the world, and particularly poorer countries, continue to grow rich, more people probably move away from manual to white collar work. People may also move into higher quality homes with facilities like air conditioning and have access to improved medical care. All of those things will reduce heatwave deaths. However, it's also likely that more people will migrate to urban areas and live to an advanced age. Both things that will increase their vulnerability to hotter temperatures. A big focus for governments and societies who wish to prevent excess deaths in the future should therefore be finding ways to make cities cooler. Ideally, such schemes would move away from the current reliance on air conditioning, which is not only fuel hungry and environmentally unfriendly, but valuable to power cuts. One idea that is being trialled in Japan is to create miniature forests in urban areas. Another suggestion is to change some of the materials used in buildings. The darker colours currently used in many buildings absorb a lot of heat. Switching to white roofs and walls would mean more heat is reflected back, decreasing the temperature inside the dwelling.